Hello, in this video we are going to show you how to set up your project so you, you can use UI elements within Cocos 2DX C++. So what you want to do is go to any of your scenes that you want to use UI elements and we need to include a couple of files. So just do hash include extensions forward slash Cocos dash ext dot h then the next include file is ui forward slash cocos gui dot h now we got all the include files out of the way we just need to use some namespaces using underscore namespace underscore cc external semicolon and then finally we need to do using namespace UI semicolon and if you didn't actually use namespace UI you would have to do UI colon colon and then whatever you whatever your UI element is that's it for iOS it's all set up and ready to go but for Android there's a bit more setup required so what we're going to do is just show you that it's it's really simple so if I just minimize this let's go to the project folder go to the Android project folder go to JNI open up the android.mk in a text data and then within here we need to add a couple of libraries so we need to do local underscore whole underscore static underscore libraries let's have a look Make sure I spelled libraries correctly, that looks a okay. Plus equals cocos underscore extension underscore static, and we can just duplicate this. All we need to do is just change this extension bit to UI. You might already have these within your android.mk, and they might just be commented out. If they're commented out, they'll basically have a hash in front of them and there's no need to manually type them out like I have. So you just remove the hash. So if I wanted to uncomment this line, I would just do that. And then finally, we just need to do a few import calls. So dollar call import dash module extensions. Now we can just copy and paste this. The only thing we need to change is extension to, I think you guessed it, UI. That's it, you're all done for Android as well. So what we're gonna do, just make sure it runs, AKA we've included the right files here. It looks a-okay to me. So there you go. Nothing is appearing because I removed all code to actually make something appear. Forgot to mention, you obviously need to have a project generated. If you don't know how to do that or you just need a quick refresher, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to that. And what we're going to do for the purpose of these videos is just comment out using namespace UI. It's just so you can easily distinguish what is a UI element and what is, well, not a UI element. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description so you don't need to remember that. Please rate and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.